Hi there, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I want to take you through isolated points. In our previous lessons in neighborhood and opening and close intervals, we've gone through a lot considering points and also numbers on number line. So we continue from there to isolated points. So the word isolated is an English word meaning something which has separated, right? Separated from what? Others, right? Separated from others. So obviously, it should give you the idea of what isolated point does. It's any point which is separated from what? The rest of the population or the rest of what? The other points which we're talking about. And to illustrate this, let me give a number line here, right? I have, let's say, um, point A, point B as my end point, right? I have point C as a midpoint. If I choose any random number x naught, right? X naught. I will say that this x naught here within this interval is said to be isolated, provided that when I take a delta, so delta was mentioned in our previous video, that is neighborhood, right? If I take any delta, which is also called the radius, right? When I take any radius, about this point x naught, right? If I take any radius about this point x naught, if I don't find any member of the set, so let's say before you start with isolated point, I'll first give you let's say s, which is a member of all row numbers. So the set s is a member of all row numbers, right? So this point x naught here, x naught here, right, is a member of what s, so that when I take any interval around x, x naught here, I wouldn't get the other members showing up within its interval, right? And it's a reasonable, I mean, it, it should be a small interval as possible, right? It should be small as possible. Whenever I give you an interval, let's say, an interval of one towards, let's say, three, right? And I'm expecting you to find an isolated point within this interval. I'm trying to say that do you have a point in this interval so that that point when I take when I take what a radius or when I create a neighborhood around that point I wouldn't get the other members of the set appear within that if that is so then it means that this point has been isolated from its peers right so within a reasonable radius you should be able to find other members of what the domain within this x but if it's not so, then it means that x naught has been isolated. That's the concept here. So whenever you are testing for isolation, or if you want to um, find isolated point of any set, you should make sure that you take the radius to be what as small as possible, as small as what possible. Remember that assuming I have this set here. See, I have let's say zero. I have negative one. I have negative two, and I have another point here. Let's say three. You can um you can obviously see that three is what isolated, right? So if I take any radius which is small around three, yes, it will prove that it's isolated. The more I expand my radius, it will reach a point where I can take my radius to be something like this, right? Where on the right side will be approaching infinity, and on the left side will be eating into what the actual interval. So if you take a bigger radius, it will deceive you. A bigger radius will give you the impression that indeed it is not isolated. So to prove isolation, you should use as small radius as possible because it's an interval. So for sure, you surely have what um, others right. I mean, with the the isolated point, but just that the isolated point has been separated with a reasonable distance, right? So we don't just take any radius like that. Assuming that you are in a community, you are in a community, and you have one house here. You have another one here and you are here and they are saying that you have been isolated that doesn't mean that your members are not close so your members are quite far away from you but if i take a radius say this and i create this as a neighborhood around you i'll surely meet your members and it will convince me that you are not isolated but isolation deals with what reasonable words radius reasonable radius so with a reasonable radius if i'm not finding anyone then i'll say that you are isolated right so that's the concept of isolated points in this manner now let me give you a question so you understand it better let me give you a question so you understand it better 
So let's see. I have the set S, which is equal to zero union. Let's say one comma three, right? So you know that one comma three from our previous video is a closed set. Please visit the video on closed sets and open sets if this is the first time being on this channel, and don't forget to subscribe. So if you have zero union one three, find the isolated points. Find the isolated points of this set. How do we do this? How do we do this? You know that this set is starting from what? X greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to a 3. And we're having 0 as part of our set. But the 0 is quite what separated from this interval. The 0 is different from this, but it's union. So if I'm to draw, if you plot it on, maybe you have something like this. Let me make the positive more because it's all positive. So you have something like this, 0. Then I'll start from what? 1, 2, 3, 4, in that manner. So I'll have this inclusive shaded towards 3. Shaded to 3. Like this. Is that not it? Then I also have my point 0 here. My point 0 here. So with this one, you realize that, yes, the point zero, this, they are all part of the set. But let's see. You can see that zero is quite separated. But you cannot just use your eyes to tell me that it's isolated point. So this is what you do. You find a neighborhood about towards zero, right? So we are going to choose a radius delta, a radius C or delta about zero. So zero will be our center then. Please refer to our video on neighborhoods to understand the center and the hot and the radius very well. So here I'm going to have choose a delta like 0 0.01. Okay. So if I choose 0 0.01 as the radius, then I'll have my interval around what 0 to be equal to 0 minus what 0 0.01 comma 0 plus what 0 0.01. So the formula is simply your center minus what your delta comma your center plus what your delta. This gives a neighborhood about any point giving the center and what your radius okay so with this i'm getting zero minus or 0 0.01 and that is giving me negative 0 0.01 comma positive 0 0.01 so this is the what interval i've created around zero for this zero to be isolated it means that within this new interval i shouldn't find any other hot element within this interval within in it so from one to three I can never find any of these members here because from negative 0 0.01 to 0 0.01, it doesn't even include one for you to say that. So meaning that zero is indeed isolated, right? Zero is what isolated point, isolated point. So you should find as small as possible, but the radius about zero and the radius, if indeed zero is not isolated, it should give us what members of the other set. Now let's see. Let's find um, an interval. So giving S to be an interval, let's say three and six, right? Yes, three, three and six. Now let's find the isolated point. So isolated point. Isolated point. So let's randomly choose, let's say two as isolated point. So choosing two as isolated point, you need to test, right? So when I test for two, I'll choose any radius. Say, let's say, um, I'll choose any radius. Sorry, the interval, there is no two in this interval. So you can choose something like what? Four. Okay, four will be. So when I choose four, four is within this interval, right? So let me say four is isolated within this interval. Now, let's prove it. Choosing a small radius, delta to the what? 0 0.01. I'm going to get what? Four minus 0 0.01, comma, four plus 0 0.01. And this should give me what? Zero point, sorry, three point. This should give me three point nine nine, right? Comma four point zero zero one. Now with this interval, can you see members of this set within this interval? Yes, because this set spans from three to six. So within this, I can have what? I can have, let's say, 
3.1, I can have 3.2, I can have 3.3, I can have even 3.999. And it can be found in this interval. It can really be found in this interval. So meaning that our 4 is what, not isolated. So this is how we find isolated points and not non-isolated points. So this point here, you can't identify any isolated points in this set. Okay, you can't identify. Thank you for being with me in this video. Hope joining me solve a lot of problems in our subsequent videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.